Hi kids! Today we will learn multiplication with single digit number with carrying. So let's get started. Kids, we now know multiplication is used for all the problems where repeated addition is required. So we know when to use multiplication. Now, let's practice multiplication. We have to multiply 56 with 5. First of all, write it like this. Now, what is 6 multiplied by 5? Or 5 multiplied by 6? It is 30. So, like we do in addition and subtraction sums, Write the ones place digit at ones place in the product and carry over the tens place digit to next place, that is the tens place. Now multiply 5 with the next number, that is 5. 5 multiplied by 5 equals 25. And we have 3 carry. So, add it to 25. 25 plus 3 equals 28. So, write 28 in the answer or product. We did it! 280 is our answer, or it's the product of 56 and 5. Now, let's take another example. Let's multiply 63 with 8. First write it like this. 8 multiplied with 3, we get 24. So, what we will do, we will write 1's place digit in the product and carry over the 10's place digit to the next place. That is, writing 4 in the answer and carry over 2 to the next place. Now, multiply 8 with 6. Multiplying 8 with 6, we get 48, and we have to carry. So, add it to 48. 48 plus 2 equals 50. So, write 50 in the answer or the product. So, 504 is the answer, or it is the product of 63 and 8. Now, let's take another example. We have to multiply 73 with 4. First, write it like this. First of all, multiply 4 with 3. 4 multiplied by 3, we get 12. So, write the ones place digit at ones place in the product and carry over the tens place digit to the next place, that is, tens place. Now multiply 4 with the next number, that is 7. 4 multiplied by 7 equals 28. And we have one carry. So, adding it to 28, we get 29. Now write 29 in the product. 292 is the answer, or is the product of 73 and 4. Now let's take another example. There are 15 red pencils and seven blue pencils in one box. Then how many pencils would be there in total in five such boxes? First, we need to find out total number of pencils in one box. In one box, we have 15 plus 7 equals 22 pencils. Now, we have to find how many pencils would be there in five such boxes? That is, we need to add 22 five times, or 
We will multiply 22 with 5 for that. Writing it like this. First of all, multiply 5 with 2. 5 multiplied with 2, we get 10. Write the ones place digit at ones place in the product and carry over the tens place digit, that is 1, to the next place, that is tens place. Now multiply 5 with the next number, that is also 2. 5 multiplied by 2 equals 10. And we have one carry. So add it to 10, and we get 11. Now, write 11 in the product, and 110 is our answer. Or, 110 is the product of 22 and 5. So, 110 pencils would be there in 5 boxes. So kids, today we learned how to multiply a single digit or double digit number with a single digit number with carrying. Also remember, if we change the order of numbers in multiplication, the product is not changed. That is, 5 multiplied by 6 equals 6 multiplied by 5 equals 30. 21 multiplied by 8 equals 8 multiplied by 21. The order of multiplication does not matter in multiplication. And multiplying with 1 gives the same number. And multiplication with 0 gives 0. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye! Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.